So now you go back and you find your property on the porch. Correct. Right? And it was raining that particular day. Yes. And how much is the value of all that property together? It was around $800. And you, Ms. Howard, are not the landlord. What makes you think you had the right to take his property out? Why didn't you call the landlord? I did do that, and I did not take his property out. He's totally lying. I have nothing for him. All right, so you are texting the defendant, and you're saying you illegally shut off the power for the entire house. You threw my belongings outside, and you broke the agreement we originally had by now saying I cannot use the washer and dryer. Correct. I find that very interesting, considering, Ms. Howard, you said that he only used the washer one time. He had a whole lot of stuff made up here. This is all made up, too? Oh, yeah. Got it. Your response to him was plan to get a truck and be out by January 1st, 2023 at the latest. So you don't even really address any of the things that he said in the text. It's just all BS. There's nothing to address there. Why didn't you say, well, first of all, you know you can't use the washer. I, I, I did I, not I'm throw not your gonna... stuff out. You didn't address any of that. I am not going to engage with this. You're not going to engage. Period. Got it. No. Let's continue. You say, get the rest of your stuff off my porch. My porch is not your personal storage area. Don't attempt to reenter my house. You are not allowed to come in. Locks have been changed. He says, I am not moved out. If you touched my things, I am going to call the police. You have no right to touch my stuff. I did not leave any of my belongings on your porch. I made sure to record a video of my belongings left inside my room. Your response is, once you move your belongings, you are officially out of my house. Locks are changed. So you knew that on January 2nd, his stuff was in the house. Because he's saying, my stuff is in the house. It's I am not, not fully moved out. He's totally lying. He's making that up, too. Oh, yeah. Then why did you say, once you move your belongings out? I thought he was moved out. He was moved out. He had just moved out. This was 5 Then once afternoon. you move your belongings out, you are out. That means he hasn't moved out yet. No, he had moved out. Because you moved his stuff? No, not because I moved his stuff. Because he So he's making stuff. all of this up? He is. And, and, because he knows yep. later when he comes from the barbecue, he's going to create this whole scene. Yep, and he did. For the purpose of what? To bring me into court? I don't know. Okay, ma'am, you're lying. Yeah. I don't I'm like not. it. I don't like it. I don't like it. You're really insulting my intelligence right now. Stop. Anybody else? Just one other question. The laptop, how much do you contend that cost? $1,200. Did you pay $1,200 for it? Like, yeah. Do you have a receipt for that? I don't. I bought it. Do you it was have a gift from you me. have the receipt? I probably do in my email, yeah. What about jewelry? You say you lost jewelry. Yeah, that was missing. So this, that was stuff that I never found that I had what kind in my room. I had a 14-karat box uh, chain and then a 14-karat uh, rope chain. But there were other roommates there, and you didn't see the defendant take your jewelry, did you? Correct. You were suing for $5,000. Yeah, the, the chains were like around $1,500 a pop. Do you have any evidence of that? I don't. Okay. All right. We're going to excuse the parties while we deliberate in this matter. This courtroom is now in recess. I don't believe the defendant. No. Nothing about what she said made sense with all of the evidence, the testimony. She's just not credible. I don't believe her. Problem with the plaintiff, however, is that he can't prove up these damages. I believe that she put his stuff out in the porch. I believe that his laptop got ruined. The question is whether it's worth $1,200. All the other stuff, he just didn't provide any proof. He sent us pictures of the jewelry, missing items he didn't even itemize. I'm not inclined to award him anything for those. As far as the defendant's countersuit, completely dismissed. Yeah. Look, as a landlord, you are not allowed to simply say, too bad, so sad, you're locked out. Yeah. I agree with you that he doesn't have great proof. I believe that the laptop was ruined. And I think an estimate of $800 for all of those belongings we saw in the rain is pretty reasonable. So I would give him the $2,000. I agree, though. Two chains... We don't even have evidence that he had chains. I agree with both of you. I think $2,000 is reasonable on the assumption that there's a receipt for the $1,200 laptop. We have that. So we're saying $1,200 for the laptop and $800 for all the stuff on the porch? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I don't believe for a minute that he stole her laptop. I, I don't either. Well, she provided no evidence at all. So that counters was just dismissed. We, we can agree to that. Yes. So the verdict is in favor of the plaintiff for $2,000. We agree. Cool. All right. Yes. We have a verdict.